Batman the Animated Series is back. Kinda. Batman the Animated Series is without a doubt one of the most beloved cartoons of all time. It features, undeniably, the best portrayal of the Dark Knight ever committed to film or TV, and it won multiple Emmys, so it's got the awards to prove it. It's no hyperbole to say this is one of the most loved versions of Batman ever made. However, apart from a couple of animated films that have questionable canonical status, the last time we officially saw this take on The Dark Knight was back in 2006 with the finale of Justice League Limited. But all of that changed this week with the digital release of the first issue of Batman The Adventures Continue, a six-issue comic book miniseries written by the cartoon showrunners Paul Dini and Alan Burnett. This book is also drawn by legendary comic artist Ty Templeton in the style of the OG show and is going to be set in that world. So for all intents and purposes, this can be considered canon for Batman the Animated Series, but much like the world's greatest detective, you probably have a bunch of questions like, when in the timeline does it take place? What characters from DC Comics can I expect to pop up? And how can I get my hands on it? Well, worry not, but we're going to get a little bit spoilery, so Matt, can you throw up a warning for me? Thank you, sir. Okay, let's get into it. First of all, when does this take place? Well, some might be surprised to learn this is not a sequel set after the animated series to create a narrative bridge to the older Bruce Wayne of Batman Beyond. According to artist Ty Templeton, this comic picks up while Tim Drake is still a very young Robin. Batman isn't middle-aged or anything, and we're not even close to the events of Batman Beyond. When the miniseries was first announced, Ty Templeton spoke with Entertainment Weekly. It's fun that it doesn't feel like we have to deal with the 15-year gap since we told stories with these characters, adding, I didn't want it to feel like there's a big gap and Batman was old and Tim's in his 30s or anything like that. I'm really happy it just feels like the next day. And that really reinforces the idea that this isn't a sequel or a prequel, but rather a sidequel, kind of like Batman the Animated Series, The Lost Episodes. But as for when this takes place during Batman the Animated Series, well, it appears to be set shortly after the first time Batman and Superman ever meet in that universe in the crossover World's Finest. We also know this comic takes place shortly after Tim Drake becomes Robin in the Animated Series timeline. This is going to let the writers fill in some of the gaps in their version of Batman lore. According to writer Alan Burnett, we're going back to cover certain gaps in the original series, events that didn't have a bearing on the series at the time, but now do. In other words, there will be secret histories that will turn Batman's world upside down. Things that no one knew were out there until now. He followed up that cryptic message with, Perhaps the most intriguing character in the run will be a young man whose story threads through most of the issues. He's a smart, super elusive loner who knows way too much about the Dark Knight. How this mystery man fits into the world of Batman adventures and what he means to accomplish should, I hope, be a real jolt for old fans. Gee... Wonder who that could be. Well, wonder no more because Paul Dini already spilled the beans to Entertainment Weekly, revealing that this is a Batman character with a long history, Jason Todd. We'd gone from Dick Grayson to Tim Drake and we had left out Jason. For the first time, you're gonna get to see that story and you're going to see what happened in that relationship. So it's our chance to not only do Jason Todd, but also the Red Hood. And those aren't the only fan favorite characters you can expect to make an appearance, because Deanie also said, there are other characters like Asriel, who was popular in the comics around the time of the show, and Deathstroke, who we never used in the animated series. Now, as for the first issue, it seamlessly jumps right back into the vibe of the series, when a giant robot attacks Wayne Enterprises. You get a little bit of Lex, a little bit of sarcastic Alfred, and a whole lot of butt kicking Batman. Now, we're not going to give away anything else just yet, because you can pick up the first issue right now digitally. If you're waiting for a physical release, well, I have some bad news. DC probably isn't going to hit that ship date of May 16th because of the whole COVID-19 pandemic, but thankfully, you can get your hands on a digital copy in the meantime. Nonetheless, we are incredibly excited to see the continued adventures of Batman the Animated Series, even if we don't get the chance to hear Kevin Conroy's mellifluous tones as Batman. I am Batman! But maybe if we all tweet at him at the same time, he could be convinced to do a dramatic reading for us. DC, make it happen. But in the meantime, tell me, what do you folks think? Are you going to check out The Adventures Continue? What other animated series do you want to see get the comic treatment? And should they just get Kevin Conroy to narrate a motion comic of this already? I mean, the answer is obviously, right? Anyway, let's discuss. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a new episode. And if you wanna get notified whenever we put up a new video, hit that little bell down below. That way you're gonna be up to date on all the latest news, theories, and rumors in the pop culture world. In the meantime, stay safe, be healthy, and have a great day. Bye-bye.